Hi everybody, Lisa Walker here. Um, Y'all are, are getting to see me at my, my worst these days. I'm like, my hair is a mess. I have no makeup on, no contacts in, but that's what the coronavirus does to people. I'm just like, why should I throw on makeup for you guys? i keeping it real, right? Um, so y'all know how I like my props. And my prop was is a live um, being. <laughs> And she did not want to cooperate because she's like, something is going on. Why are you messing with your phone instead of me? So, um, but today <coughs> it is Calm for Pets. So Ninja loves her belly rub. So this is super easy to rub on her. But again, I would have had to have somebody else take the video because she was just like, what are you doing? So, um, anyway, she did get it rubbed on. I have to tell you, it smells really nice. But, so, since she wasn't cooperating with me, um, I will go through the, um, just the information about it. So, I did put a little, I did take a picture of her and put it in my story. So, you can see the story of her looking at me like, why are you doing this to me, Mom? <laughs> um, so, the, um... The disclaimer will still go into effect when it's um, for your pets, but obviously then you'll just be checking with your veterinarian <coughs> to make sure, <coughs> excuse me, that it's safe for your pet, especially if your pet, your pet has some kind of, um, you know, chronic condition. So um, I just want to read to you guys the, the product summary. And then again, as you know, there are testimonials for this as well. So let me take off my glasses here so I can read for you guys. Please excuse the fact that I have no makeup on. Um, <clears throat> now, we rescued Ninja as a puppy. So we can guarantee that she had no trauma. But she is, um, her mom was a German Shepherd, which is why they're saying she's the German Shepherd mix. We think um, the dad could have been Rottweiler. So, because of her markings. Now, that part is neither here nor there, except for the fact that um, she tends to have mega separation anxiety. So, I tend to bring her everywhere I go within reason. So, if I have to go into the office, she comes with me. If I'm out and about doing errands where um, it's just a quick five minute in and out, um, I'll bring her with me. But other than that, you know, I think you guys have seen some of my videos before of how insane she gets if I've been gone for, you know, an hour. You would think I've been gone for a week. So, um, so even though she hasn't suffered trauma, she has the anxiety disorder. So, um, it is very helpful for that. And I'll read that um, quick summary for you guys. It says, unfortunately, trauma happens to animals from pets to farm animals and, of course, animals in the wild. Severe trauma may be experienced through accidents, extensive surgery, life-threatening attack from another animal or a human, which don't get me started on that because that would just make me angry, um, or other distressing event. Physical trauma is always accompanied by emotional and energy field trauma. So basically, just like us, you know, I mean, if it's kind of like the pet version of PTSD. So um, this is actually a blend and a little goes a long way. I've been using this for quite a while and I don't know if you can see how full that still is. Um, but it says the blend can help an animal let go of fear and feel more grounded. And it's able to move beyond a traumatic event to experience life again. This very physically and relaxing blend can help restore peace and allow the body and mind to accept healing. So what I usually do is I, I put a little bit on my hands and then I rub her chest with it. And, um, and it, it gives you like a dosage. So um, one drop for younger dogs or elderly dogs. Um, she is in the large, actually she's extra large because she's over to 70 pounds. So I can actually do 10 um, drops. But honestly, I can get away with about a half a dozen and just have it on my hands and rub it on her. It seems to relax her. Um, but this is what I found really interesting, and I'm going to have to give it a whirl whenever I do, because obviously we're in corona mode, so there's no really leaving the house kind of a deal. But I love this idea. 
It says you can place one to two drops undiluted blend onto a cotton ball or a small cloth and attach it to the outside of their kennel. And then that is, um, it says you can diffuse it for 10 to 15 minutes or as long as six hours. Uh, it does say not more than three to five days, but in my thought process is, you know, five days is usually like if you have to go to work um, and you could put it on their, attach it to their kennel and then that might help them be more chill when you're, um, when you're at work. So, I mean, for me, I... As much as it was so cute to see her super excited to see me, it was also like, oh my God, you poor baby. <laughs> like, what were you going through while you were waiting for me? Like, what races through their minds? Um, so I thought that was, you know, a good thing to, to acknowledge. And then, because I'm actually trying to do some real research for you guys, it is not just for dogs. So it says you can put it on horses and large animals. Um, and you would just follow the same instructions as you would for um, the large or the extra large um, dogs. And then um, you can do miniature horses, cows, goats, and sheep. So um, again, anytime you get a product, if you have questions on it, I say yes, you can look at the um, product information page. But the best thing to do would be to talk to your vet if... Um, you want to make sure that the product is safe for your animal. Everything is organic. It is all natural. Again, I said it was made in the USA, which really thrills me right now. And um, it's cruelty-free, which, of course, you all know how I feel about that. So, um, again, it makes me happy that I can support a company that is sustained here in the USA and is all natural and organic. So I know it's safe and I don't have to worry about any other kind of weird chemicals being um, added to the product. So big kudos for that. And like I said, Ninja loves her calming oil, but again, she was looking at me like, you know, what are you doing to me? And I told Jessie I could do it on Roxy too. I'll put it on Roxy because she's a little bit of an aggressive little terrier. And uh, she likes to attack the TV, so we need to, like, massage her belly with it um, uh, when she's watching TV so she doesn't attack the TV. Oh, uh, let me see. You're, Lisa, you said that you wanted to know what you can't use it on. You're correct. You cannot put it on cats um, because they have highly sensitive uh, metabolism. Metabolot, oh my God, I swear. A me <clears throat> highly sensitive metallic, oh my God, I'm having a brain fart. Met meta, oh my Lord, forget it. They're just highly sensitive. <laughs> um, I swear you'd think I was drinking and I haven't. I've watered today. Um, obviously, I don't know how you could put it on a fish, but don't put it in your fish water. You cannot put it on reptiles. So, um, even if you have like a stressed out iguana, don't put it on them. Um, no birds because of their respiratory issues. No rodents. So you can't, like if you have a hamster or a gerbil, those are also too small for them. So, um, and it says some of them were not even tested on those animals. So it's kind of nice to know that they are um, like, hey, we haven't tested it on a little gerbil. So don't put it on a gerbil. Um, and again, I mean, who's to say you could probably take this product information guide with the product and take it to your vet and see what they think so yes you can put it on horses according to this you can put it on horses you would do the same as you would on an extra large dog so and again with everything else whether it be human or um animal you should always start with a smaller dose and work your way up because you just don't know um, if they're going to be sensitive. Just like humans, some humans can, um, you know, do the full dose right out of the gate and be fine. But I always recommend taking the smallest dose and working your way up to the full dose. And always follow the, the instructions because you wouldn't want to have some kind of a bad reaction not that I've heard of it, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. So I'd rather just be safe than sorry. So um, 
Again, if you want more information, please message me or you can put something in the comments. Um, I do have some gift cards left. I have about five. So if you're interested on the um, $25 off, again, you, you know, you can get something that's $25 and all you're doing is paying for the, the shipping and the tax, which is great. I know, I love the idea with the, um, the kennel too, especially since, you know, Ninja is definitely never had any trauma because she was with us since she was little. But she's definitely um, I, the breed that is more prone to separation anxiety. So, um, and she really seems to like it. And it does smell really nice, I have to say. Because um, I'm kind of picky about my smells. In fact, I was smelling it earlier because um, my husband fried some fish for him and Jesse for um, lunch. And, and I hate fish. Don't even like the smell of it. So, I can just whiff this and be in a happy place. <laughs> So, so anyway, it's Calm for Pets. It has a nice little, you know, dropper so that it doesn't just come flying out. It's not just opened. So you can definitely like measure your, your droplets. You don't have to worry about a ton of it coming out. Because I can tell you, um, before I knew anything about oils, not that I know a whole lot now, but I'm learning, I had bought some off of Amazon. Now, luckily, it was just like <clears throat> a diffuser not to put on me. But I noticed that they don't all have like the nice um, topper on there. So where, you know, you can just over pour it. And it's like, oh, my goodness, why isn't this <laughs> I can measure drops instead of putting a gazillion tons into my diffuser? So um, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I wonder, you know, like you could probably put that on um and test it out and see how that would compare to I've heard of like those um comforting kind of t-shirts and stuff, but I've heard that sometimes the dogs get more irritated feeling like they're confined where this is just a nice soothing um oil and they won't feel like they're being constricted in any way. So I kind of like the idea of the oil over a thunder shirt because I have heard some animals that don't like that or even I can't even imagine trying to get a t-shirt on ninja <laughs> sometimes even just getting her uh, leash on to go for a walk is is like she's just so excited yay it's walk time so I can't imagine if she's under duress trying to get a, a calming uh, thunder shirt on her so, um, so anyway, this is just one of the many products that we have for pets as well. So I will try to mix it up and, and give you some other um, testimonials for, for the pet line. But um, if there's something specific you want to know about, like I said, I'm doing this for 30 days. Um, we have other essential oils and we have um, like um, different soaps. I love the soap, so I'll probably talk about that. But um, again, I want to get you guys on the testimonial page because it is amazing and you get to hear stuff from real customers and you can just like type in the search what you're actually looking for, which I think is amazing. It makes it so much easier. So it's almost like a Google within the testimonial site. So that's it. I told you I would try to keep these super short and sweet since I'm coming to you every day. I hope you have a great day. We're working on some projects around here. Um, Jesse's painting the spare room in the basement and Kevin is working on his tools. And I have to say, I have to give myself some quick kudos. Um, I think I had told you guys that I had uh, went back to college <laughs> I took an online college course and I uh, put off taking the test because I was a good student in the fact that I would pay attention in class and I always did my homework and stuff, but I don't know, I would always stress out when it came to test time. And I actually had qualified to take, like I had done all the um, challenges and I could have taken my test like two days ago and I just kept putting it off and I was super stressed and nervous. And so, and I almost put it off again today and I went ahead and I did it. And I passed the class with a 92%. I should wear my cap like I had on the other day. I was so freaking excited because I was like, you know, I pushed myself outside of my comfort zone. And I was having a lot of um, anxiety that I wasn't, 
you know, capable of, of taking a test and passing it. So um, now I have an official college credit <laughs> because I've taken other college courses, but they were just, you know, like, you know, how to make floral arrangements or something because I wanted to make um, flowers for our wedding. And that's almost 30 years ago. And then I did make flowers for my friend's wedding, made bouquet flowers for, for that. So um, I did get some use out of it, but I didn't get like any real college credit. So super proud of myself for that. Um, and it goes back to the whole like you got to take a... I, I need my cap on. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you gotta take time to, you know, push yourself and try to be better. And um, as much as I would like to sit around and um, catch up on some crazy Netflix stuff, I feel much better when I'm challenging myself rather than being a couch potato. I save that for the evening. So um, anyway, just wanna encourage you guys that if I can do it, you can do it. Go out there and challenge yourself and you will feel so much better when you do. And if you fail, um, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I took a practice test and I had three out of 17 wrong, but when I went back and took the one that counted, um, I got two out of 17 wrong. So yeah, I didn't get hundred percent, but I did better than the day before so, or the two days before. So, um, so anyway, um, everything is ebbs and flows, everything, you know, you have successes and you have letdowns and you have rough days. You saw me in my, my crazy attire with my pajama pants on. So, um, so anyway, I just want to always try to encourage you to do your best and never be let down by whatever you accomplish because it's still a step in the right direction. So love y'all. Take care. Have a good day. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.